keeping a secret for um, quite a while now. And if you've been following the Instagram, then you probably already know what we're talking about. But um, a lot's been going on behind the scenes uh, for years at this point. And um, yeah, it's finally, um, it's finally here. So we're actually going to the grand opening of it and it's gonna be pretty cool. So um, yeah, other, other things that have been gone behind the scenes, um, I proposed. I know a lot of y'all probably thought I was married because I was wearing a ring, but that was actually like a promise ring, I guess if you want to call it that. But um, I actually gave her a real ring. Um, we had an emo housewarming party when we moved to the new house. That was another thing, it's new. <laughs> I mean, you guys probably know about the house already. But, um, and then uh, I proposed at the house party. <laughs> So I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube. Um, haven't had really time to do it. Been doing, focusing a lot on my merch also. And then, uh... <laughs> and then uh, I lost train of thought. I was happy. Um, yeah, I've been focusing on the merch and stuff like that. So I haven't really had time to, you know, focus much on YouTube. I haven't worked on cars. Um, I'm sitting on two drip videos right now. I still need to edit, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna start to catch up soon. So, but um, today we got something big. So uh, I'll show you in one second. Hello. How are you? Ring ring. Thank you for calling Wright Auto Works. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, welcome to Wright Auto Works. So, um, put the camera around. There we go. Um, so yes, this is the shop. This is Wright Auto Works. Um, it's pretty, pretty big. Uh, to be focused on, how long has it been? It's, been? it's actually been open for a little while already. So we did our soft opening on July 17th and started getting customers in. We've actually had 50 customers, 50 or 60. Um, so in like yeah. three weeks. Uh, so, and that's just, faster yeah, most, expected. yeah, mostly by word of mouth. Like I said, you guys haven't seen anything yet. We did put, make some posts on Instagram and stuff and Facebook, but we haven't really been pushing too much. We only have one tech right now. Uh, we have another tech coming in a few weeks. No, next week. Next week. And then, and then, and then four lifts right here. And then four lifts, they're going right here. Okay, and then, yeah, there's two lifts here now, and then there's gonna be four lifts along this wall, and then we're gonna get another tech, and then another tech. I've been interviewing, so this whole week I've been interviewing, actually, um, had a pretty good couple of interviews. I'm not gonna say too much. All right, yeah, don't, don't say too much, don't say too much. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna, then we'll really be able to like push, push. We haven't really said too much. Um, because you know we didn't really want to overwhelm 
the little bit of you know space and um the employees that we have so uh but yeah we're gonna be able to like really push this thing pretty hard so far so um this is um it's focused mainly on euro and import All right, so we're focused on European, but if you have an Asian or domestic car, I'm still going to work on it, obviously. Um, and considering the, the demand that I've already had for Asian domestic, we're considering getting somebody that specializes in it as our fifth technician. Um, but right now, I mean, like we just did a whole bunch of work on a GMC on Friday. Um, it was like a nine hour job. Um, I've had plenty of Asian cars. I actually had a Honda Civic. I think we did a, I think it was eight hour job on that one. Yeah, Don's um, Honda Civic, yeah. Yeah, like AC work and stuff. We've done. We did a rear main seal on Friday. Oh, show, show your ring, because uh, has it, nothing to do with the shop. Well, they don't. They don't know. I never told you to. Oh, hi YouTube. Oh, he finally it took him six years. Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. Finally. I will all never right. let that go. All right. All right. But he had to all save right. it for six years, and then he like they had to go find all the diamonds. See, there's, there's a lot of them in there. <laughs> so they had to go like find. That took six years to find yeah. all those diamonds. There you go. Careful, put your sunglasses on. You should yeah. probably put a warning on yeah. for that part of looking the video. Like a, like, looking like an E36 wagon over there. <laughs> but um, it's uh, two sides over here. So um, that's going to be, you know, a lot of lifts over there. And then over here going to be a couple more lifts. And that's going to be an alignment machine. A lift right here, too. And then an alignment machine in the back. So my lift is going to go where? My, I'm going to put it right there. Your lift is going to go at your house and your garage. Uh, all right. You're a all right. So I guess I got to do a lift in my garage. I'll work on your car for you I, at a slightly discounted rate. Oh, I get a discount. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But anyways, guys, that is um, <laughs> that is uh, right auto work. So um, we're gonna finish setting up. Um, so like I said, I'm setting up my booth for merch and stuff, and then we're gonna set up you know food and drinks and stuff for everybody. Now I do have to say this. Um, today is August. 12th and unfortunately we did lose somebody in the drifting community a very huge person uh tyler clayton um his uh funeral is actually today he was the owner of coral works i know a lot of you guys probably know that brand or at least recognize the name or the logo or something um he passed away uh last week and his funeral is actually today so rest in peace to him that is a big staple to the drift community and um a lot of people they were going to come here for the grand opening. Um, they told me they're going to go there, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, I wish I could be there too, but we already have this planned, of course, and you can't really plan for that. So um, it is very unfortunate. So um, for those that can make it, I uh, appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, so rest in peace, Tyler. It's pretty sad. Um, that is a big hit in the drift community. And um, yeah, so um, anyways, we're going to finish getting set up, and then we'll let you guys know when um, cars start rolling in and we'll see what the shop looks like. So. Um, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours now. Um, people are rolling in, and it's, it's looking good. Looking good. We got a bunch of cool cars here. About to flip it around and show you guys what we got here. But this is amazing. It's an amazing turnout right now, and I'm pretty happy about it. Let's <laughs> see. Good people here. People brought their families and stuff. John over here in his GS wide body co-worker right here okay yeah yeah I use next level you got a V10 all right right here V10 no V8 V10 got an M2 comp over here It's a manual, interior's super clean, under the hood, super clean. Thing is super clean. Got Sam's car. What's up? <laughs> Hello. Ebony. I didn't think I wiped the engine bay down. Oh, that's not Ebony. My bad. 
<laughs> I thought, this is Blake's car. I thought this was Ebony. <laughs> That's funny. Ebony's over there. There's Ebony. But yeah, Turbo E36, M52, same thing. Same thing. Got a new Z4 over here. M3, the forgotten M3. And over here we got some Skylines. Oh yeah. Got Paula Dawn's uh, GS300. The 2J in it. This is the actual drift car. Yeah, I got some Skylines over here. Got an R34 over here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. E36. E92. F30 or F31 because it's the wagon. E36 with the S54 swap. Another E36 and the BBS CHs. Woo! What are the options out here? A Mini Cooper. With the R888s on it. You know this thing handles like crazy. Another E36 to go Josh. There goes an Audi. RS5. The HREs. Oh, he got a seat in. I ain't seen this car in a minute. Woo! Lord have mercy. That's super clean. Super clean. Look at this 997 right here. Work in progress. Looks like you got the GT3 wing fitted. That's going to be sick. Man. Good turnout. Good turnout. Supercharged E46. Looks like M54 BF. Mustang over here. There's some cars starting to park out there. Like I said, it's still kind of early. So, well, this could be, this is a good turnout so far. I'm already happy with the turnout. They got the food. I'm about to go eat because I haven't ate yet. Parking more cars inside. These are cars actually getting work. This thing needs an engine. Uh, this needs something. I don't know. It's kind of, it's getting some work done though. I think he got it. I think he, I think so too. I think he, I think he got it too. So. Are you going down? There you go. And he's out. Sir, <laughs> I know everybody's sweaty, but since we are so close, we're all hot. They won't know a few things, so it's fine. Uh, but we, you know. I want to make sure everybody can hear everything and hear just how grateful I am that so many people came out today. Um, again, it did start raining here. Um, I thought 12 people would show up and we'd have a couple burgers and high five and, you know, sweat a little bit and not this. So thank you guys for taking time out to come out and support. Um, this has been a big dream of mine for a while. It's something that, you know, is a huge mountains to climb and a lot of you guys have seen me in the industry climbing another mountain and learn as much as I can and I'm happy to put my mark on my side of the mountain now. Um, so it means so much that I have your support, have you here, so that you guys can give us this boost, this is the foundation. Um, so just round of applause for that. Thank you. Yay! I mean, Regular people might, I feel like I'm in time out. <laughs> but I felt it was important you guys could be in the shade. So um, uh, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know a little bit about what our business entails. You guys have probably seen the logo. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about the logo, and I think it's important that we talk about why the logo is what it is, because it means a lot to me. There's a lot of symbolism in the logo. Um, so you notice the triangle. The triangle represents three really important pillars. And I want everybody in this room to hold me accountable to for the rest of this business. The, the first one is happy employees. We take good care of our employees. Uh, I feel like if you take good care of your employees, they'll take care of your customers. The second one is happy customers. So if, as a customer, you ever feel that you're not happy, please tell me. And the, the final one is sustainable business because if we do a good job, we'll be here tomorrow to help you as well. Um, so that's really important. And then finally, the Icarus reminds us to always stay humble, no matter how happy we fly. So I wanted everybody to know what that means because it is important to us. And we didn't just want to put, you know, some wrenches on a 
on a piece of paper and call it a logo. It means a lot to us to have that there. So, um, it's a lot of people that I can thank. That we could be here all day for you to thank everybody. If you're here, you know that I'm grateful for you. If you're not here, I'm also grateful for you. Um, this was not a linear journey to get here. This was a fight some days. It was, there were days I wanted to give up. There were days that I thought, it's not for me. And um, there are so many people in this room that pushed me past that. So many people that have believed in me, it, it means a lot. Um, so let's cut this ribbon. Before I cut the ribbon now, I didn't get here by myself. And so I think it's important that I ask the people that have motivated, motivated me every day to get here to come and help me. Come on. So my kids can come forward. <laughs> Your brain is sweating. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. Where's Olivia? Has anybody seen the tiny firecracker? She is. Come here, baby. You want to help me? You help me? All right. I want you boys and Olivia, I want you guys to look around and always remember that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Always. And I hope that this is, this is going to be the first ribbon you get to cut, but I hope it's not the last. So if you guys want to stand for and cut it for me, yep. Yeah. All right, let's count down. Three, two, one. Woo! No more mushy stuff because it'll start crying and raining and all that stuff. But, uh, <laughs> really, thank you guys. It means so much. Thank you. What a job! <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a couple hours, a couple more hours. That's a lot been going on. So I haven't really been vlogging and yeah, it's been an uh, amazing time. Sold a lot of merch. You guys have killed it. I did better here than uh, do at like car shows. So thank you guys. Um, anyways, uh, this is Jacob's car. You know Jacob. Um, you guys might know the video where Jacob got his M3 and unfortunately it got don't need to go in that uh, horrible memory but then he bought a white one and now he actually has this he didn't he still has the M3 but he bought this too so this is his daily now oh Porsche was it Cayenne I can't remember but yeah he just scooped that up M Macan Turbo Macan, Macan Turbo. This is Jacob's new car. He said it's pretty quick. I'm gonna drive it. I wanna see. I wanna see that versus Big D. What y'all think? What y'all think? That versus Big D. Anyway, he says an E46 over here. I see a front mount. Oh, AA supercharger. So I remember this car. This makes it quite little. Are you ready on ethanol? I don't know. I haven't died on What? Looks sick. Fuel. What kind of fuel? 93. 93. Oh, negative. Uh, you get it. Uh, that's too much. Are these I'll say strict, too. Oh, you know this thing's quick, boy. BBS is on that thing, boy. Oh, got the meth injection, boy. Okay. Woohoo. He's not playing with him. <laughs> What you think? 40 roll? 40 roll? You, you got it? No, he ain't got it. I ain't got it either. I don't think I got that one. Yeah, we both get got yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think, I think he got me on this one. You got to get a hatchback. I know it's everybody's least favorite E36, but I got to get one. I just have to do it because I need every E36. I need this and a wagon, and then I got them all. I have a coupe. I have a sedan. I have a vert. I need a hatch and a wagon. So crazy how the interior of the hatch is so different than the rest of the E36 is like nothing is the same in here except for the cluster. The cluster is the only thing the same. Like the center console, everything is different on the hatches. It's so crazy to look at. Like it doesn't look like I'm in an E36 when I'm standing here right now. Got another vert. What? Carbon fiber hood. Apexes. Hard top. It's like the vert I have, just not hard top. This thing's a little bit cleaner than mine. Super dope, super dope. 
And this is a co-worker right here at UPS. E91 wagon, yellow. We're up the same yellow as the M3. This thing's sick, gets a lot of attention. Everybody loves this car at work. I love this car too. This car's super sick, especially with the little box up there. It's dope. Little M52 tag. Super sick. Super sick. All right guys, well we are locking up. Everybody's gone now. I want to thank everybody that came out to see the shop. I uh, got a lot of positive feedback. Hopefully see you guys soon. Um, and yes, it was an uh, amazing turnout. A lot of fun, a lot of cool cars, a lot of good people, a lot of good friends. And I want to thank all of you guys. So we're actually about to all hop in the X5. Almost called it the X7 because it fits seven. I keep thinking it's an X7. And um, yeah, we're going to go eat, celebrate. And, yeah. So, you hear that thing spooling, boy? No, you hear that thing spooling, boy. Whoop. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Deuces. I will see you soon in the next one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>